Hi, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about turmeric and curcumin. Turmeric, as you probably know, is a spice that is often used with Indian cooking and in particular curry. Curcumin is the main ingredient in turmeric that gives it its main health benefits. And so I typically have my clients, I tell them to include um, turmeric in their daily or weekly food regimen because turmeric is a good antioxidant and it's a good anti-inflammatory. And so what I'd like to do a little bit is read to you something that Dr. Uh, Lee Aaron Connealy, who is an MD, wrote. Um, she's an MD down in Orange County. And according to her, well, she uses curcumin to treat her cancer patients. So curcumin has been getting a lot of uh, research lately. And here's what she says. Curcumin is the most powerful yet underutilized substance known to humanity. It's amazing what curcumin is capable of. This simple compound can treat inflammation, helps protect the brain from Alzheimer's, fights infections, and is a powerful antioxidant. And, as the study I mentioned above has proven, it also fights cancer. In some ways, it outperforms chemotherapy alone. Yet, despite this, most doctors don't make use of it, and of those that do, many don't give uh, don't give it to patients in the maximally effective manner. Today I'm going to talk about the newest findings related to curcumin and then I'm going to tell you exactly when and how you should be taking it. Curcumin is found in the root vegetable turmeric which is usually ground into the spice uh, found in curry. In turmeric, curcumin makes up about 5% of the tuber but there are supplements that offer concentrated curcumin standardized to 95% purity. When you're dealing with concentrated curcumin, it's astounding how many ailments can, it can treat. First of all, it's important to remember that many of today's most deadly diseases, heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, and diabetes, to name a few, are caused by inflammation. Now, I want to go over that for a second, and I want to repeat that because it's very important. A lot of people don't really understand that, and when it comes to health and wellness, um, the, the role that inflammation plays. So I'm going to read that one more time. It's important to remember that many of today's most deadly diseases, heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, and diabetes, to name a few, are caused by inflammation. Now remember, curcumin and turmeric are anti-inflammatories. So, she goes on to say, that's why some people believe in taking an aspirin a day. But of course, an extended aspirin use has some very dangerous side effects, chief amongst them liver toxicity and damage. Curcumin, on the, other, on the other hand, doesn't have any side effects. In fact, I've prescribed and given curcumin to patients for years, and I've never seen any side effects, neither have any studies. Some people do have an allergy, at least that's what's been reported, but again, I've never seen it. But curcumin doesn't just reduce inflammation, it's also antibacterial. It's five to eight times more powerful than vitamin C and E as an antioxidant. And it's an anti-beta amyloid agent. And as if you know, and if you remember, if you've read, um, amyloid plaque is what causes Alzheimer's disease. And it's also a powerful anti-tumor compound as well. That's the property which the most recent study has focused on. Researchers from the UK recently published a new study in Cancer Letters that found curcumin was more effective at killing colorectal cancer than chemotherapy alone. But the cells that curcumin attacks are actually more important. Most forms of chemo attack daughter cancer cells, those which are produced and cast off by the main mass. Curcumin, by contrast, appears to attack the mother cells, the cancer stem cells that grow fastest and produce more cancer cells. In other words, curcumin attacks the key cells that cause the spread of cancer. And curcumin is something like 100 times less toxic than chemotherapy. So what she's saying basically is that uh, curcumin and turmeric um, are very good for combating uh, cancer in her case um, and she actually uses intravenous curcumin for her cancer patients. Now for my clients I typically just tell them to either take a curcumin supplement or use turmeric in their cooking because as a natural health provider, as a nat natural health practitioner, um, I believe that uh, natural health has a lot of ways that you can be healthy um, without going down the medical road and taking a lot of uh, drugs 
and, and that sort of thing. So if, uh, if you want some more information, feel free to visit my website or give me a call if you're local, and uh, we can set up an appointment to talk about any health issues you have. Um, that's it for today. Make sure you put turmeric in your weekly food routine, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.